Hey guys and gals, Chartreuse here, bringing you some more Minecraft Redstone today. Today we are back in 1.4 pre-release, and we're looking at a first concept. It's not fully refined, it works, it works just fine actually, but I, I'm thinking it could be made smaller, possibly. But what I have here is just a 4-bit binary counter, it has no moving parts, it only it uses locking repeaters, and it does use a glowstone diode trick, but you can just use a normal repeater here but that takes away one feature. The nice thing about this is, like my old uh, piston counter, which got broken, this is fully synchronous, so there's no delay as you go along the bit. So let's demonstrate by hooking this up to a clock. And as you can see, the bits are all lining up as they go along here. And this can be powered better at just having bugs with uh, running it faster than this, having a three in one clock or yeah, three and four clock, so where one of these is unpowered as it goes around because this needs an inverted signal, it's always held on. So I just have it running through a three clock and a mono stable here to get the one tick pulse off. But yeah, as you can see, it works just fine. And if I let's just slow this down because for some reason it's killing my frame rate. I have no clue why, I'm, why that was, but okay. As you can see, this one's just a special case. You can actually just continue this on, make it similar all around, it just wastes space, but what you have here is a carry line, which is powered from the inverse of this one. So when this one is off, it's stopping this thing from toggling on the next state. So all these chains state at the exact same time, it's just the pre and the previous one determines if it's allowed to. So see this one's not allowed to change state, but this no, this one's allowed to change state, so the next time this one will turn on, this one will turn off because nothing's stopping it ever. But this one is stopped from changing state, so next time it toggles, this one won't change state. And because this one won't change state, the next one won't change state, because states always happen right to left. They don't happen when the left doesn't change state, but one on the right does. So we have this carrying along, but we don't want it going backwards, so we use a repeater diodes down here. You can also use repeaters, but you lose the synchronization, as I said earlier. And these were all set on one, so they happen fairly quickly, so I don't think there's much delay, because... Repeater locking seems to happen instantly, so you can do, run these pretty fast. I can't really run it faster due to my mono stable, so if someone wants to hook, if someone can get a three and one or one of these clocks inverted and working in 1.4, that should let you run that at faster rates, or even a one clock might work, but I don't think it did when I tried it. So maybe a three clock or a two clock might work, but with with only one on, it has to be a one take pulse on here, off and on on or two take it but it runs slower it'll be glitchy as hell it'll, uh, no two take won't work on this design my bad so it needs to be a one tick pulse sorry for the frame rate but uh, what can you do this is the design so if anyone's got improvements or how to shrink this that'd be much appreciated but for now this is what i've got you know these repeaters on the end are just for show so you can just take the power output anywhere like say here and you got your instant power you don't need repeaters so this has been Chartreuse K with my 4-bit binary counter. It's infinitely expandable. Um, well, if you want it synchronous, it's not infinitely. You're limited to about 8, or you're limited to this, unless you add repeaters. So yeah, if this can be made smaller, that would be that would be excellent. So I'm going to try that later, but this is it for now. So this has been Chartreuse K, signing out.